but Eve was able to survive. He can leave the front line, luckily. <laughs> and let's also take a look at that burn. I should have a self uh, cure for that. Iceberry, indeed. I even have two of those. <laughs> Eve, let's go hold this for a moment. I think you need that. <laughs> um. Yeah, before it uh, can actually work, I do need Eve in the front line for a moment. <laughs> Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. Well, as long as you keep my Eevee alive for the first turn. <laughs> I want him to get cured of burn. And then I'm going to get him out of there quickly. <laughs> um, I'm going to assume I'm faster, so let's use hidden power. Does barely nothing, but still. <laughs> oh, he uses acid, so um, we are done here. <laughs> no healing of burn for Eve. He's going to get faint status now. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. So. Let's go put in my bug type and um, use a flying type move in order to get rid of this grass type. Get some revenge for Eve, Sid. <laughs> Goodbye. Using acid on an Eevee, how dare you! <laughs> One more, also a Gloom. Wing attack. With Ferdinand no longer in the team, Sid is also my flying type now. <laughs> and there she goes. That makes two. Not a level up quite yet, but next battle, he will. However, next battle is going to wait for a moment, because we've reached another switch, as you can see. And this one is labeled Emergency. This Emergency switch is actually able to reset all of the other switches, in case you actually get stuck in uh, a puzzle you cannot solve anymore. <laughs> and speaking of which, we uh, reached the end already. And therefore I think I need to get back in order to um, start tinkering around with the switches uh, some more. Because there's still an item in the bottom left corner, which I need to pick up. Let's go try out a couple of things in order to try to reach that. Uh, let's wait for the final one. Let's go see... Yeah, this one is shot now. They can also get in from the right, I think. Yeah, because the middle door is open. And we can reach it. Yeah. This is a smoke ball. If you're in a battle you want to desperately get out of, use a smoke ball. <laughs> Not something you can catch Pokemon with, even though it's called Ball. <laughs> a different kind of ball. Now let's go turn on the switches again, in reverse order. So we should actually get uh, what we just had a minute ago. And therefore be able to reach the end. This one is now open. And the middle one is open. Let's go continue. Ooh, we've reached a warehouse area now. More rockets to actually take care of. And we can also see Mr. Director over there. We're getting close. You're not going any farther. I don't show mercy to my enemies. Not even Brett's. Oh, you're also not going to show mercy to Megan. <laughs> Poor Megan. But Megan was already chased out of here by me, not even by you guys. <laughs> I'm here to chase off you guys. Um, wing attack. And it's level up time for Sid. Indeed. <laughs> 595. Sid grows to level 34 as well. Even breaks 100 HP at this point. Golbat, so I think next one to level up should be Andros. After using a flying type myself. At least move-wise, a flying type. <laughs> We're now going to take care of flying types, and therefore an electric type is good enough. Also down in one hit. And another rocket can be scratched. Not a whole lot left. Let's move further right, and of course switch to Andros in uh, my party as well. Three more. And everybody is level 34. 
The item over here is actually a Max Ether. Might as well pick it up. Let's go around the corner. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I remember you. You got me good at our hideout. Oh yeah, you were the guy who actually gave the second password in the previous rocket hideout. The ninja hideout. Back in Mahogany Town. I remember that laugh everywhere, the yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Apparently he also is stashed around here. In order to guard the real director. His Pokémon seem to have gotten a little bit stronger. But not strong enough, because I have also gotten stronger. <laughs> Second Pokémon, Weezing. Also something Andros should be able to handle. Thunder Punch. There is a staircase here. Let's go check that one first. Because we can actually get ourselves an item. An amulet coin. However, we are carrying way too much stuff. <laughs> oh. Let's go use something quickly. Uh, let's go give my ice barrier to Sid. Because he's still not carrying an item. And that way I actually have some room. To carry this. And it's not a surprise I actually want to use this. Because an amulet coin is also a hold item. But this one is actually able to um, give you more money if you uh, equip this on your Pokémon. It will actually increase the payout of each battle. But of course only if you actually use the Pokémon in question. Let's go switch it around with the Ice Berry he uh, temporarily was carrying. <laughs> And Sid is now able to actually get double money. Hmm. I'm also wondering where we are. We are getting the shop music. Weird. Hmm. Maybe something we can find out later. First we need to save the director, of course. <laughs> How did you get this far? I guess it can be helped. I'll dispose of you. Final guard in this place. The ultimate guardian of the director. And he only has a coughing. <laughs> you would expect something a little bit more formidable, since he's the final guard. But no, he's just as weak as the rest of the gang. 610, and that is enough. Andros also reaches 34. So we only have two more, only Joffrey and Ferry. We haven't seen Ferry in a while, so he's up first. Time for you to take care of business, sir. Ice Punch. That's not enough. <laughs> oh, I always love it whenever a move um, gets a Pokemon down to 1 HP. <laughs> Pretty obvious Fairy needs his level up as well. But okay, um, the director is saved. He's right here. <laughs> the item we find here is uh, Technical Machine Sleepy Talk. A pretty handy move which you can use uh, if your Pokemon is sleeping and you still want to attack. <laughs> However, it's random I think, so not very reliable. But you could actually teach it to a Pokemon who uses rest a lot. Something like that. Let's go talk to you. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower. What is happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket? Here, take this card key. The whole reason why we're here. <laughs> Use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I am begging you to help. There is no telling what they'll do. If they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower. And all of the Pokemon nationwide. Already on it, sir. 
In fact, I was already in the radio tower, but I needed to go here because of you having the card key. <laughs> but anyway, the moment the dungeon is done, you will see this door has opened up. And let's go see where we actually end up. Hmm, what is this place? Hey, kid, you're holding us up. Our policy is to work behind the scenes where no one can see us. Hmm, some kind of workplace. There's also Pokemon down here. And this is actually a warehouse area. Remember how the department store actually had the basement floor? Which functions as the warehouse. And that is indeed where we are right now. <laughs> that is where this rocket dungeon actually connects to. So in order to get out of here, we simply uh, go into the elevator, back to the ground floor. And see that we are indeed in the department store. <laughs> Interesting how those places connect. But anyway, we have the card key, so we can return to the radio tower and actually finish that place off. Pokemon Center first. We found out we um, are full on inventory. So we need to ditch a couple of things. Pretty much all the things we are carrying which are useless we are going to ditch. All of the apricorns for instance. It can be handy for Kurt, but uh, actually running around with them is a waste of space. <laughs> Let's get them out of here for now, with the exception of one. Smoke bomb also not going to use. I never escape from my battles, so... Waste of space as well. Um, yeah, that should be good enough. Now let's go heal. We're going to move back into the dungeon we were originally working on, so... <laughs> Might as well heal in the meantime. Especially Eve uh, really got uh, damaged badly. But for now we are working with Fairy and Joffrey. Let's see if those two are able to take care of the radio tower business. Team Rocket are doing bad stuff in here. They are indeed trying to use the radio signal in order to control Pokemon. Something they've tested out at the Lake of Rage. But this was their true attention. Taking over all of the Pokemon in the region with this radio signal. Let's go stop them once and for all. Third floor. And here is the shutter. Let's continue, finally. Why did the shutter open? Did you have something to do with this? Yeah, let's go show him the card key. Looky what I have! <laughs> Reticate again. And I forgot to switch my Pokémon, of course. <laughs> Okay, Andros, you can take care of this guy. And then we can put Fairy back in. Unless you give me a Pokémon where water types are useless. No, coughing should be enough. Fairy, your turn. This one is level 26, so... I doubt the Ice Punch is going to take him out in one hit. No, it will. Yeah, it's a critical, so... <laughs> kind of cheating a little bit. Critical hits always work. <laughs> no. Switch. There we go. Always something I forget. <laughs> Fourth floor. But now on the right side. I am known as the Team Rocket Fortress. You're not taking another step. Team Rocket Fortress. Interesting nickname. Is that going to imply you have heavy defense Pokémon? Okay, not quite. <laughs> Ooh, but it is level 36. That is quite formidable. A lot higher level than all of my Pokémon. But super effective moves should still work. In order to take you out in two hits, apparently. Oh, but you're going to confuse me. Help. Fairy. Please tell me you know what you're doing. And you do. Thank you, Fairy. The goal bet is down. Three levels higher than you. But you are not scared. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, not too sure why they call you Fortress, but um, let's not question you. Let's go take on the next one. Don't I think Pokemon are cute? I'll think my Pokemon are cute after they beat yours. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can imagine it working like that indeed. <laughs> Four Pokemon she has. First one is Ekans. Only level 21. After the level 36 from just now, that is kind of a downfall for you. <laughs> Goodbye. Even my weakest move is enough to take you out in one hit. <laughs> level 34. Only one more to reach that. Ooh, but unfortunately the Pokémon is oddish. Um, not per se the best match for Joffrey. But still, let's put him in. He's my only level 33, so... <laughs> let's just assume the difference in level is enough to overcome the type disadvantage. But I do need to use a neutral type move, of course. Oh, sleep powder, help. And that is not going to end well. Let's still put in Magnus. <laughs> oh, poor Joffrey. Type disadvantage. But now you are the one type disadvantage. Fire punch. Jeffrey will still receive some experience points, even though shared. Next one is Ekans again. Let's go put Joffrey back. Ekans should be safe. No longer have to fear super effective moves. But we do need to wait for him to wake up again. So this might take a while. <laughs> yeah, Bite's not going to work a whole lot against me. Oh, he woke up. So we can start working again. Let's use a ground type move on a poison type. Of course. <laughs> One more. Gloom. Same problem as with the artist just now. <laughs> Let's hope it does not use sleep powder. Poison type, I know. But because of also being a grass type, the move is going to be neutralized. No longer super effective. Okay, stun spore. That's a little bit better than sleep powder, I think. <laughs> because this way I can still attack officially. Even though not always. Like I said, not always. <laughs> but paralysis is still better than sleep, I think. Even though paralysis does not heal automatically, that's also a downside. Okay, there we go. Finally, third time's a charm. And you still lose. 678, and all of my Pokémon have reached level 34. Oh, we're going to learn Rollout. It's a movie now from Miltank, from the third gym. <laughs> I think it's an improvement over Tackle, so let's go use Rollout as our new normal type move. Interesting. Alright, with uh, Joffrey paralyzed, I think it's not a very good idea to have him in front anymore. Let's return to Eve. And in the meantime, let's also talk to DJ Mary. Why? Why do I have to suffer through this? Meowth, help me! Oh, apparently this is a Meowth. <laughs> meowth. <laughs> not high level enough, apparently. Was not able to take on the rockets. <laughs> Alright, next floor. Studio 1. Let's go take out these two executives. Hi, little boy. Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? I lost then, but I won't this time. Rematch against the female executive from the Rocket Hideout. Let's go see what she has now. Arbok we already know. <laughs> she started with that last time as well. 
Iron Tail. Rep. So I'm going to be stuck here for a while. <laughs> No matter, I wasn't planning on leaving anyway. Let's just continue doing some damage with steel. Ooh, glare. That's a move we haven't seen yet, I think. Also uh, inflicts paralysis, as you can see. So that's going to make beating her a little bit more difficult. Quick attack, in order to... Work around the paralysis. <laughs> always a good uh, strategy to use. Whenever paralyzed, you can always use quick attack. Next one is file plume. Um, even though paralyzed, I don't want to always use quick attack. I think that's not going to be strong enough. Oh, <laughs> being paralyzed, of course, also does not work. <laughs> I still go um, to Sid. I don't think Eve is uh, able to do a whole lot anymore. Yeah, good luck using a grass type move on the bug type. <laughs> Not going to do a whole lot. But I have a flying type move. And that will damage you. <laughs> Ka-bam. One hit. Oh yeah, shared experience of course. And the last one is Murkrow. Well, perfect. I have my bug type out already. Like I explained last time when facing a dark type, bug types actually work against them. This one is also a flying type, so it's not going to be super effective, but it will do neutral damage at least. Ow, flying type move, help. <laughs> Come on, Fury Cutter. Let's go get you stronger. Unfortunately, Peck is not the strongest flying type move, so I should be able to handle that one. But Fury Cutter, after the third time, is really powerful. And the bird will fall. Nice job, Sid. The female rocket executive falls for the second time.